So for those of you who don't know, this is Chloe Ferry. Chloe is famous for being in the reality TV series Geordie Show. She's from Newcastle, which of course I'm from Newcastle. She's recently launched a YouTube channel in which you can see in this video she is doing a tour of her salon in which she owns, which is based in Monk Seaton, Newcastle. Ever since Chloe did this video, I have been getting so many comments from people asking me to go to the salon to review it, to get some treatments done and just give an overall experience of the salon. So today, my huns, I decided that that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. We are going to be reviewing Chloe from Geordie Shaw's Beauty Salon. One, two, three, fuck it. I literally look like a three-year-old today. What is going on? I've also tried to straighten my hair after having a curly on the weekend and it's still got waves in it and it's really pissing me off. Hello guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're just joining us now, welcome. So for today's video, it is a very, very highly requested video. If you didn't see my video, I done a two week. <laughs> what? If you didn't see my video, I done around two weeks ago where I went to the best rated nail salon in my area. The top comment on that video was, please can you go to Chloe Ferry's salon? Please can you review Chloe Ferry's salon? Please, please, please. So that's what we're going to be doing. Today I am going to be going to Chloe Ferry's salon. Anyway, yeah, I knew about the salon, but I didn't know it was something that would be of interest of you as far as to go and review. So today I'm going to be reviewing Chloe Ferry's salon. Now I've booked in to get a full set of nails and I'm also going to be getting a full face of makeup as well. Because I feel like they're the most exciting treatments where you can really see if if a company's good or bad um for me personally like if i got my brows done or anything like that it would be really hard to know if the like treatment was good or bad so i feel like nails and makeup are quite obvious things and it's things that i think will show the most like is this service good or bad you know what i'm saying i hope you do i really have high expectations not gonna lie because the actual page on instagram the treatments look bloody amazing i haven't decided what nails i want to get yet but this is the makeup look that i've asked for or something very similar to this i love a bit of a smoky look so yeah this is the makeup that i'm going to be looking for and i'm really excited for this video hopefully at the end of today i will have a glowing face of makeup and a good set of nails but yeah this is the video i hope you're as excited as me let's go get our treatments so when I first walked into the salon, I was greeted by a lovely member of staff who I later learned was actually Chloe's co-owner of the salon called Maeve. She took my details, obviously knew that I had the appointments booked in. I had like a two minute wait and then I was sat straight down to get my nails done. The interior of the salon is absolutely beautiful. They have a huge flower wall at the back, which I was mesmerized by. So many colors and the salon's actually really big. Um, So where I was sitting was the main reception of the salon, but it actually continued down the corridor and there was like three to four treatment rooms which I was actually quite surprised at I didn't think it was going to be this big So my nail tech was actually also called Chloe, but it wasn't Chloe Ferry who was doing my nails. Um, she wasn't actually in the salon the day I went. But yeah, Chloe basically gave us a nail consultation, asked what type of nails I wanted, showed us some previous design that she'd done. And I went for this really nice glittery look. Um, she had did this design before in blue, but I decided to get the red style of the design so there's a few things to note about the way that i got my nails done at the salon it was very different to the way i'd had my nails done before usually when i get my nails done i get a full set of acrylics and then a gel over the top with some design or whatever i've asked for however when i got my nails done at this salon basically the design was embedded within the acrylic so she kind of mixed the glitter up within the acrylic so that it wasn't like another layer on top if that makes any sense then well done to you because I'm absolutely rubbish at describing things and you know I'm not a nail tech myself so I don't know the terminology for this but yeah it was a really different way to do my nails and another thing to note much like the best rated nail salon that I went to um none of the metal filing tools were used it was all by hand and it was all um just like filed by hand by the nail tech Overall, all the people in the salon were so, so friendly. There was a few other members of staff kind of like waiting around for next treatments who were like talking and, you know, we were having a good night about the randomest things like what we're having for tea. Like customer service was really, really good at the salon. Didn't make you feel uncomfortable or awkward. Like I actually felt so comfortable and I felt like I knew the girls for quite a long time. We were talking about the randomest things. But yeah, it, it, honestly, like customer service was definitely on point. I think I think I 
Should I file the top of them? What do you mean, file the top of them? That's actually so satisfying to watch. Oh my god, it would be so great to them. Okay, so next step was to get my makeup done. I was very excited about this. You know, just when you feel like you haven't had your makeup done in the longest time. Oh, I didn't know. Right, what well, I've got that one. I like I'll that. swatch that. Well, that's a bit yellowy compared to thin. So what I could do is over the edges of it. Put oh, yeah, that. Right now. So to be brighter in the corner. Like gold, yeah. yeah. Wanna do like that? that? Yeah, we'll do that. Like I always feel so glam after I've had my makeup done. So the girl that was doing my makeup was called Shh. Maya and oh my god, I'd looked at her Instagram beforehand and she's absolutely phenomenal. Like the makeup skill she has and she was only 17. I could not believe that this girl was 17 and had these makeup skills. She was so lovely, like literally consulted us through every single step of the makeup to make sure that it was exactly what I wanted and you know know that the colours she might not have had exact to the photo but she came up with like a nice mix that we like compromised with honestly like one of the best makeup services I've ever had and she was so so friendly and her talent is like bloody phenomenal as you'll see. So for the makeup I decided to get a full face of makeup with lashes which at the salon costs £45. For my area I would say that's slightly over the average. I think usually when I go to makeup salons it's usually around £30, £35, £40. But, like I said, Maya is very, very skilled at what she does and I definitely think, like, it's worth it. You get what you pay for at the end of the day and I do feel for the skills Maya has, it's, it's worth it. For the nails, I got um, a full set of acrylics with obviously a design in that and they would cost £35, I believe. Um, but, yeah, again, that's average in this area for a full set of acrylic nails. They usually, if you go to, like, cheap best salons, you can probably get them for, like, £25, but 30 to £35 is the average price, yeah. So, as you can see, Maya is continuing the face of makeup and, honestly, I was so buzzing. Like, I wanted to sleep in the makeup. I loved it that much, but, obviously, I don't want to wake up with loads of spots and I'm really sorry about the background noise my parrot just doesn't want to shut up today and there's literally nothing I can do no matter where I go in the house you can hear her so we're gonna have to excuse that okay guys as you can see I'm back from the salon and we are gonna do my final thoughts and review on Chloe Ferry salon so as I walked into the salon my appointment time was bang on I had an appointment at one o'clock for nails and then three o'clock for makeup and as soon as I went in there was no waiting around so I'm going to start off by nails because nails is what I actually got done at the salon first when I walked in honestly all of the staff were really really friendly got off I had a drink straight away um I didn't want one because I had my like travel one with us um but yeah so so friendly like you know really chatty and I got my nails done by a lady called Chloe it was wasn't Chloe Ferry it was an employee she has also named Chloe and she was the lady who did my nails she was so so lovely from the get-go to be honest like really chatty and I love that I love a bit of conversation because there's nothing more awkward than sitting in a salon and feeling like you're dragging teeth to get a conversation from the stylist I mean I know at the end of the day you're not paying them for a conversation but you know it's nice to have a conversation cool. how are you doing how are you doing Tell the papas how you're doing. Dolly has been out with her boyfriend Eric, haven't you? Haven't you? He's a little Frenchy. Oh, am I not allowed to tell them? Am I not allowed to tell them about your boyfriend? She's coming up to four in March. I'm like, Dolly, you're growing up so quick. You're growing up so quick. You're getting so big. She's got a bloody boyfriend called Eric and I can't cope. I can't cope. You're getting too big. Oh, I love her so much, you know, I actually do. Do you want to go on the bed or do you want down? Put some foundation on you. Me put some foundation on you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you want some makeup? <laughs> do you want your makeup done? Do you want your makeup done? I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to get with nails. Like, I didn't really know what I wanted. I seen on the actual instagram for the chloe fairy that there was this like nice blue glittery look so i asked for that but like a red version of it 
and here is the nails are you ready okay so these are the nails i think they're absolutely stunning like i actually generally love them so this one is just like a nice shiny red color this one is like an ombre um the white is quite high up on the ombre but i really like it it's just like a nice little subtle touch this nail here is a gorgeous glitter red this nail is like a pearlescent white i'm obsessed with this like imagine these on your wedding day love that and then this one is like an ombre glitter how the nails look as a set and obviously they just match on the other hand but i think they're absolutely stunning like i absolutely love them and they're quite fancy for me i'm usually really plain with nails but i thought i'd spice me life up a little bit do you know what i mean makeup i'm just so so excited about this makeup like i it's like what is the time is it it's like seven o'clock and i'm gonna film two videos just because i love this makeup look so much that i don't want it to leave my face like can you sleep in makeup because if i could i definitely would like if it was acceptable and i wouldn't break out and it would look amazing in the morning i would sleep in this not gonna lie i knew going into this that the makeup was gonna be like amazing judging by the page like the chloe ferry page for the salon i had a very strong idea that the makeup was going to be good and i was very excited to have a lush new face of makeup so now going into it she said that she wasn't 100 percent sure if she had the lip color that's absolutely fine she told us straight that she was sure if she had the lip color so we compromised and we went for this lip color in the end which i love i actually own this lip color it is huda beauty trendsetter and i think it is stunning i wear it all the time myself anyway so i was very excited but this is the makeup look guys like i'm honestly obsessed with it like i think it is stunning i feel like the base is so complimenting to my face the eyes are beautiful i love the lips like i just honestly love this makeup like who is she who is she like i'm honestly obsessed with this why can't this just be my face like forever and always because i just think it looks like so good like look at that contour it's like fucking unreal like best makeup artist i've been to not gonna lie like the colors match the, the just technique as well when she was doing my makeup like everything was so precise and at every point she was like do you want to check your eyes do you want to check your eyebrows do you want to check the base just to check your light get like at every point she was stopping to let us check the makeup to say it was like what i wanted but like i am so so impressed so 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 impressed with this makeup but from my experience of getting my makeup and my nails done at the chloe ferry salon i would 110 percent recommend like there's nothing that happened at my experience or there's nothing with the actual final look why i would say i wouldn't recommend because i 110 percent would i think the makeup is literally 10 out of 10 i think i can't pick a flaw with it I can't find a flaw with the makeup. I think it is stunning. And I've never met Chloe Ferry, so this isn't me being biased in any way. I'm not friends with her. I've never met her or anything like this. This is a true, honest review of my experience going to the salon. And I mean, I think you can tell by just looking at the treatments. Like, if the wash it, I couldn't lie, could I? Like, it's, it's me face. You would see. And like but i just can't lie like they are absolutely amazing it's my video going to chloe ferry salon it was very highly requested so i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed the video if you've got any other video suggestions let us know in the comments below i absolutely love getting my makeup done so anything related to makeup getting your makeup done let us know because i absolutely love it but yeah without further ado, -ta -ta, i'm gonna let you go and i'll see you very shortly for another video bye <laughs>